Okay, so I'm gonna do a, a how-to video on how to um, terminate a RJ45 connector onto some Cat5 cabling. This is for your standard straight-through cable for Ethernet or um, for Ethernet LAN cabling. So um, to start with, the things you need, you need some Cat5. Um, right here I have just some regular Cat5 from Home Depot. You have a pair of um, good scissors, you know, you can use some regular household ones or maybe some wire strippers or something, but um, if you get yourself some good um, good wire um, scissors, which are made for this, it's helpful. Uh, you know, these actually are made for, for cutting wire and for, stri for stripping, and um, they're really good. Um, and you need a set of crimpers. Um, there's some different ones. This one here can do RJ11 types and RJ45s. And it has some other things for flat ribbon cable, which we don't use. But, um, okay, and then you need a connector, RJ45. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you have to strip back the cabling a little bit. An easy way for most wires is to score the outside of the shield very lightly. You don't want to actually go into the shield and hit the wires this way. And then bend it over at that point. And you go a little bit more on this one. You don't want to go deep because you don't want to score those wires. But then when you bend it over, you can get and then you can just yank it off right there. Now we're going to inspect very carefully, make sure that, that we did not score any of the wires. They look good. I'm going to cut this string off. That string is actually made for doing the same thing if you don't, if you're not skilled enough to break the shield without scoring the wires, you can use that string to pull down and that will prevent prevent you from scoring the wire. So next thing you want to do is um, spread apart all the wires. So I take all the pairs, there's orange, blue, green, and brown, and they're twisted. So we're going to untwist them and we're going to just spread them out like that. So we're gonna... Okay, so now we have our wire that looks like this. It's all spread apart. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is put these in the proper order. So for a standard RJ45, for a standard Ethernet cable, we want to have them in this order. White, orange, orange, and then it's white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And you can look up, you know, the, the different um, wiring color standards for whatever your purpose is. But that's the purpose that I'm doing. And then I put my my, my thumb and my finger right against the edge there to flatten it. And then I use my other thumb and forefinger to pull it out straight. Now, the reason why I left a couple inches out here was to make this part easier. To get it nice and straight like that. So you can see it's, it's almost like a ribbon now. And now we want to take our scissors and cut them off at about right here you don't want them too long we're just going to cut them off flat and, and we don't let go right here we, we keep holding on because otherwise the wires are going to spread out and they're going to be difficult to put back together we'll have to start all over then you take our connector and put them on with the the um this end is on the bottom and you just slide it in there and then we're going to take a look to make sure that the wires are in all the way. The wires are in all the way. Push it in. Take our connect, our crimpers. Plug that in. And there we go. 